Oh, hey there, gorgeous. My name is Dusty, and this is the Scorpio Priestess. If you would like a personal reading, you can do that by visiting ScorpioPriestess.com. If you would like to enter to win a half-hour FaceTime reading, you can do that by liking, subscribing, and commenting. Blessing. I hope everybody is doing well, vibing high this Labor Day weekend. This is a timeless reading, and it is a collective Scorpio reading. Not everything in this reading will apply to you. Please understand that if you would like a personal reading, you can book and we can see exactly what is going on in your life and in your energy. There's some kind of mess. Something's out of control. There's many working parts. There's a lot of things happening here. Patience is needed, Scorpio. There's a soul spark. Somebody could be planning a trip to Alaska, a cruise to Alaska. You could live in Alaska. It could be 24, 42. Allow and trust for divine timing right now. There's some eternal love, um, some unconditional love here, a divine union heavy in your energy today. Um, it, it looks like... There's some future gains coming in for you, Scorp, but it's going to require you to have patience and trust in divine timing. The mystic of divine love. Yeah, love very heavy in your energy today. Love is divine and I am nothing except love. I am peace. When, I, when my mind is clear, the way is clear. The mystic of peace. You are being asked to find peace in your mind peace within yourself, coming to a place where you can fully accept that what is meant to be is meant to be, fully trust and believe that you are on the path of the, the divine, and if you are meant to meet a new lover, you will exactly when you are supposed to. It looks like there's some kind of <clears throat> source energy being sent to you. The hawk, spirituality, fly beyond your day-to-day -day thoughts to observe them from a bird's eye view quieting your mind and detaching from your thought patterns puts you in a better position to take in messages from your spirit guides i am leaving for florida tomorrow and i cannot wait because of being with clients i see upwards to anywhere from 10 to 14 sessions a day I'm getting up at 4.35 in the morning to get these readings done for you all. I'm constantly taking in other people's energy, and I got to say that I cannot wait to go cleanse my soul in the sea and be with my babies and just allow myself to just allow, not have to be on such a, you know, hectic time schedule, just be able to just be and clear my mind. There's a lot of decisions that I'm needing to make about Scorpio Priestess. And some of you may be in a position where you have a lot of decisions you have to make about your business, your life. You may want to find time to do a five, 10 minute breathing exercise every day. Take 30 breaths, Scorpio, very deep in through your nose to the count of four. Hold to four, out to four, 30 times get some fresh air, go out and get the morning light. Clearing your mind right now will help you um, receive some divine downloads, some intuitive hits. Communication. You are encountered in, you are encouraged to communicate clearly from your heart. Bridge any gaps that may be keeping you from connecting with deeper love and deeper love inside yourself. It is important to speak your truth with emotion, vulnerability, and power. Opening up your throat chakra here over the next few days, the next few weeks, we're all on different timelines, and communicating to someone that you may be in a divine union with, really important. Opening up your throat chakra and communicating with your loved ones. There may be something that you need to say to somebody, Scorp. Some of you, you've been silenced. Wow, this energy is just popping. You've been silenced. Um, there's somebody that hasn't allowed for you. you. You haven't got to speak your peace to them or you can't speak to them. Every time you talk to them, they gaslight or scream or yell. 
there's somebody that you have something to say to, you may want to do a um, little bit of shadow work, write this person a letter, read it out loud, really speak your truth, Scorpio. Surrender and miracle. Even if it seems all hope is lost, no, do not let hope slip away. I, your guardian angel, am constantly by your side. Did you hear me? I, your guardian angel, are constantly by your side. Surrender all concerns to me and trust in the healing power of love. Please believe that you are never alone. Together we shall work through each other and work through this situation which concerns you. All heals with the passing of time. Magic and miracles are about to manifest. I claim spirit. Some of you need to claim this reading. You have a guardian angel. I know I do. I have two guardian angels, my soul dog and my buddy walking beside me on the other side, directing me, protecting me. And that is something that I don't just say, but I fully believe. I know that I am never alone. I know that my angels, my ancestors, and my God is always working through me and walking beside me. And the moment you learn to fully trust that, Scorpio, if you're struggling with that, you're going to see such a difference in your life because you won't be fearful anymore. You won't be afraid. You won't feel alone. You will always know that you are being guided and walked beside. And that is what you're being urged to know right now, that you are never alone. And just because you feel like maybe things are not changing or they're never going to change doesn't mean that a miracle couldn't come into your life any day. Just as much as something bad could happen, something beautiful could happen for you. Some awesome opportunity could manifest into your life. Remain positive about the future of our planet for all is part of humanity's evolution. There is divine order to all the chaos which you perceive in our world. Nothing will ever truly change until we learn to love and accept all for what it is. Lovingly surrender your judgments and expectations and your life will magically transform. Some of you are judging the state of the world. You think there's no way I'm ever going to get out of debt or you're judging some situation, Scorp. And it's important for you to know that nothing can change until we change. Nothing in your life can change until you change, Scorpio. Nothing changes until something changes in the world and in your personal life. If we keep treating people the way we, we do, if we keep treating one another in the manner we do, nothing will ever change. It's going to require us to change. We can be the change. It will take 1% of us, 1% of people on this planet to start vibrating at a higher level and start showing love and appreciation to your fellow man. And the world could change in amazing ways because we affect one another's vibration. We affect the room's vibration. So the more you work on yourself and the more you heal, the more you can help change the people around you and the planet. I don't know about you, but um, this world needs a good dose of love. There are people out here just screaming and dying for validation and love and to be accepted and their anger and pain is manifesting into all sorts of ways. And some of you, there's a lot of anger in your energy. It's directed towards me all the time, but nothing changes until something changes, Scorpio. And don't be angry at people that haven't caused the situation uh, um you know start really fully recognizing why you feel angry and triggered or why um you feel like you're hopeless there's a reason it looks like it's because of this complicated messy situation that unfortunately you have been unable to see yourself out of or 
you know, some of you have been waiting for a really long time for a lover and maybe it's time to stop waiting and start living. Magic is alive within you. Magic is alive within your life. What you need to succeed will manifest. Believe you can do it. Virgo energy here. Something could happen by the end of Virgo season, but there's been loss of peace of mind, personal freedom. Take caution and be aware of others' actions. Seven of Swords energy. Whoever this person is around you, they're causing you to feel hopeless they're causing you to feel sad and um some of you have been waiting for them to come in for a long time it's causing a lot of confusion they could be coming in and out for sex for some of you knight of wands energy here the divine asking you to make a choice stop procrastinating stop over analyzing if somebody is not in your energy currently, presently, telling you they, they want to heal the relationship, they want to grow, they want to work with you, then they don't deserve to be in your life, lovers, friends, or otherwise. If there are people in your world that make you feel confused and loss of peace of mind and loss of personal power, they've got to go. You can't force them to want what you want. You can't force them to see life the way you do. Trusting in divine timing, trusting that everything will come in for you exactly when it should, Scorpio. There's magic alive in you, baby. You've just got to find some peace of mind now and surrender. Get in the flow. Communicate your needs properly and trust and believe that in divine timing, you will attract in a new divine love or you will attract in your soul family. Moving over to love excitement passion here suspense something's like a powder keg though in a good way for some in a bad way for others some of you just meant somebody new it's been really exciting it's been really fun and i'm so happy for you i've had many text messages of people telling me that they have meant somebody new as of lately um and i'm so happy for you because i've been picking up on it for quite some time to my regular readers who have just met a new person, I'm sending you love and I'm sending you light and this could be the catalyst for change. Some of you, there's some unexpected fast change about to happen in the love department. You could meet someone new. You're rising above um, a bad situation, trying to stand in your higher self. Your third eye could be opening here. There's somebody that's really stubborn. There's someone that demands your attention, Scorpio. You may want to start working on some inner child healing. Some of you, one of the reasons why you're so angry, sad, and you keep manifesting the same person is something from your childhood. There's some triggers here from childhood. God knows I've had many in my day. And I, I'm here to tell you, once you start healing and dealing with your, your triggers from childhood, um, when you really start to take a look at why you react in the ways you do or why you make the decisions you make or attract in the kind of people you attract in, it's such a beautiful, refreshing um, life because you, you've fully understand what your triggers are and you can work through them some of you meant someone it was a divine love and this person was put into your life so you could heal some of these inner child issues a lot of passion <clears throat> some of you went through a breakup and it's been a minute since you have felt love and passion and validation and that is coming in for you in divine timing and, and some of you, it's already came. It just depends on where you are on the timeline. There is a situation that sucks. Looks like you're feeling disappointed. You feel like things are not working out and nothing's changing. You could be meeting a lot of duds in the dating pool. You could be still involved with an ex that just refuses to commit. This person has so much healing that they've got to do. They're immature. They've been acting childish. Their emotions are not fully developed. They've been blinding you. Or you haven't wanted to see who they really are. 
Um, it looks like they've put you on the shelf here, or at least you feel like they've put you on the shelf and then they come in when they want attention um, and then they leave again when they feel like it. It's immature behavior. It's nothing you are doing and there's nothing you could change about the way this person acts or treats, treats you, Scorpio. They've got to change it. I read for people that are involved with 70-year-olds, 75-year-olds. Some people never grow up. They never heal. And they never open their eyes. It's sad, yes, but it's not your problem. The only thing you can do now is decide to take yourself off this shelf and start living again. Tell me how the person in Scorpio's mind is feeling, please. They could be uh, building a new home, buying a new home, getting a new home. They feel like you are hard to find. You're too good to be true. You're, they're all, you're all they ever wanted. This person um, is see, dealing with unforeseen challenges and delays as well. This person is most likely broke a soul contract here with you. They... they have acted so immaturely um, that they're dealing with a lot of mental and physical karma. Their body could be sick. They could be, you know, not in a great place in their mind either. Some of you, this complicated, inner tangled connection is a their energy is affecting you, Scorpio. You're picking up on their energy and it's making you lose your peace of mind and lose your um, personal power because they're so beat down. It's a toxic energy cord. You may want to do a little research in toxic energy cords and how to break it because when one person is vibrating really low and another person is not, what starts to happen is subconsciously the person that's vibrating really low is feeding off you and so some of you are just be you're exhausted you're tired you're sad you feel confused and disoriented and it's most likely partly because of this toxic energy cord this person's not learning lessons they're going in circles there's a lot of things happening in their life their ancestors are giving them messages they want to overcome challenges here why are they feeling um challenges unforeseen difficulties there's so many things happening that they did not see coming uh, they're having dreams about you this person is dreaming about you having dreams past life dreams they're getting messages from their ancestors they're getting messages from spirit in their dreams and they may not be remembering, but this person is being urged to stop coming in and having one night stands or stop having one night stands out here. This person could have sexual connections with other people and you know that. A lot of you, you're not together and you know this person is probably out here doing the most you're aware of that whoever i am reading for right now um others this person comes in and has one night stands with you because they are living and building a home with somebody else and it's been very difficult to break away from them even though you know you have to because there's been no change this person's not leaving the third party they're just doing the same thing on repeat Tell me, what, what's on repeat? What are they doing here? What's on repeat? Yeah, toxic lover. It's, it's, and they're standing you up. Sneaky betrayal. They're betraying. Let me tell you something. If this person left you for a third party, they're betraying the third party already. I would guarantee you this person's talking to other people online. They're doing the same things they did to you. Scorpio, you are not the problem here. This immature motherfucker, and excuse my language, but I, I'm just these people. It, I'm so tired of seeing you all have to go through this. I, I, you know, I had someone comment that um, nothing's ever 
whatever that I've predicted hasn't came true in their life. Well, sadly, I have people confirm every day um, how accurate my readings are. And the one thing I will say is what I see all the time is some of you feel so hopeful when this person comes back that you, you're just crushed when they do the same thing they just do the same thing to you my regular clients i love you but you know it's true it's just over and over and over you get so hopeful you hope that maybe things are going to be different and then they start standing you up not responding back going mia whoever i'm reading for today it looks like there's codependency issues there's family issues this person could be in a relationship with a third party that they have children to you all could have kids that's why some of you are trying here so much and respect it i i get it i made a lot of sacrifices for my own children but it's just sad. This person seems to be repeating cycles with sneaky behavior. They're hiding things. They're disloyal. They could even be hiding money. You are definitely being called to do a spiritual cleanse, y'all. You may want to take, we have the Virgo new moon tomorrow. Perfect time for you to take a spiritual bath. Perfect time for you to cleanse out your energy. I have bath ritual kits on my menu. I've prayed and meditated on the salt for 10 days. People have had a lot of they've really enjoyed it you may want to try one cleanse your energy just get some salt from your kitchen if you don't have Epsom salt burn some cinnamon sticks sage you can make a simmering a simmer pot I do that a lot and then I walk around my house saying a protection prayer and let the steam just fill my home cleansing out your energy right now Scorp is is necessary because a lot of you are are picking up on this person's negativity and low vibrational behavior <clears throat> this person could have ghosted you they could have stood you up as of lately for some of you this is something that they often do they'll come in they'll be really good for a few days message you good morning good night etc then bam they fall off they're doing something on repeat someone's first name could begin with a b tell me about what they what they plan to do please what do they plan to do, please? Well, this person wants to come out of fighting and arguing. They want to come to a place where you're not... Um, they don't want to fight anymore. They're, they've been focusing on a lot of negative... They're very negative right now in their mindset. There's some kind of accomplishment, spiritual enlightenment. This person could be really getting ready to actually change, do some kind of work on their self. As of now, this is someone that has not matured since they were 20 years old. They could be the same damn person um, because they have not done a lot of work on their self or they're so emotionally avoidant, they've just stopped their self from maturing emotionally. It looks like there's some kind of healing that could happen. They want to catch up. I know I was wrong by not talking to you. Would you be open to talking now? This person wants to catch up with you. They want to talk. They want to apologize for ghosting or falling off. Whatever they have done here. Union and attraction. All I am thinking about right now is how attractive I am to you. I know who you are to me and what you mean to me. I am ready to be with you and only you. This person could come in and tell you that. Um, let's let's hope that that's the case. For some of you, you've been waiting for this person. Um, they've been caught up. Tell me why toxic lover with a toxic lover. And uh, it's slowed them down from coming in. There's been a lot of fear. They may reach out on Facebook, on Insta, on TikTok. They may reach out on some platform online, WhatsApp, and flirt with you. They want to sweep you off your feet. But there's lack of balance in this relationship. Listen to your intuition, Scorpio. Pay attention to the signs here. Because there's, there's a lot of things unclear. This person may come in here 
uh, masking some things, wanting you to have, you know, b blind yourself, wanting you to not ask them a lot of questions because they don't have any answers. They could be, you could ask this person questions and they just seriously do not answer because they don't know what to say. This could be a Pisces, a Cancer, a fixed sign, a Scorpio, a, a Taurus, a Leo, or an Aquarius. They're having dreams. It's great sadness. This person is getting messages in their dreams about Free of Swords energy here. Personal growth comes from challenges, healing misunderstandings, being there for those you need. This person's guides and ancestors are trying to wake them up. Asking them to be bold and optimistic opposed to just so quick to make all of these bad decisions. This person wants to come in and they want to catch up. They're decisive. They're driven. There's some uh, something happening with a lot of speed. This person's going to come in and, and be, they're going to tell you a lot and, and they're going to say a lot. And it will be up to you and your individual situation to if you want to move forward or if, if you don't. Because a lot of you are tired of this. You're fucking over this. This is done. You're just tired. Thank you for the apology. Some of you may not even respond to them. That's how done you actually are. Um, though, some of you are meeting. Tell me about this exciting new passionate relationship here, please. There's a lot of excitement. You could have just meant somebody new. It's brand new here. It's going to require you to first release this person. There's a significant transformation coming, Scorpio. This is a brand new lover. Those that want to have children, you could meet someone that you may have children to. Like This is going to be a real serious relationship and it's all coming in because of this transformation, because of how much work you've been doing on yourself. Remember that endings are just new beginnings. The need to release a situation or people holding you back. The divine is being clear here. This new lover is not coming in until you get to a place where you are fully ready to release this past person that you've been on repeat with because the divine's not going to orchestrate a faded event with a the perfect partner if there's a chance you're just going to hop right back on this cycle with this other person. Um, you want to be in your ideal skin and you want to have a completely sure, decisive mindset about th this past person that stands you up, that you've been in a cycle with, will never, they will always try to come back. You're going to have to be the one to, to deny them. They'll always try to come back into your life. They don't want to, they love you. They don't want to lose your validation. They just haven't been changing. There is some change here. This person may be doing a little work on their self. They may be coming to a place where they're more sure than they have been in the past. But because there's so many boundaries that have been crossed, it's going to be very difficult to get this relationship back on track. Tell me about this new person for those Scorpios meeting someone new. Oh, yeah, there's going to be a memorable kiss, guys. This person may be a lot different from your usual type. Differences in culture, age, skin color. You're finding your way. You're on the right path and you will be shown the way. There's somebody that you may have already shared a very intimate moment with. There's a lot of excitement coming with them. Some of you in the next six weeks, you could meet this person, go out on a date, have a really memorable kiss. It's going to be really exciting. You're going to feel invigorated again. It's going to be your choice for it. You could meet a, another Scorpio. You could meet a Sagittarius. I hope everybody has the most beautiful and blessed day. If you're doing something for Labor Day, don't drink and drive. Be good boys and girls. Love and light.